hello out there welcome to this mathematics lesson on squares and square roots and in this video we'll be looking at fractions and decimal fractions so we take our first problem problem one find the square of each of the following a 0 0.4 b 1.2 c 2 over 3 and d one whole number one over five we start with a square of 0 0.4 is 0 0.4 raised to power 2 which is 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 and uh, the method we are going to employ to solve this problem is to remove the decimal point remove the decimal point we'll be left with 4 here 4 here 4 times 4 gives 16 then we'll bring back the decimal point we now count the number of decimal places we have on each of the numbers so in 0 0.4 we have one decimal place and in the second 0 0.4 we have one decimal place so the total number of decimal places we have all together is two so which means our final answer is going to be in two decimal places so we count from behind one two we place the decimal point and introduce zero so the square of 0 0.4 is 0 0.16 we go to be part of the problem in b square of 1.2 means 1.2 to the power of 2 and 1.2 to the power of 2 means 1.2 times 1.2 um, in this we are going to bring in a different method i can write this as fraction that's 12 over 10 times 12 over 10 we multiply the numerator 12 times 12 gives 144 and 10 times 10 gives 100 so 144 over 100 means you are going to have 144 in two decimal places so you have one two so our answer is going to be 1.44 that is the square of 1.2 so we are done with problem a and b we go to c problem c we have a square of 2 over 3 square of 2 over 3 is equal to 2 over 3 squared which means 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 2 times 2 gives a uh, 4 and 3 times 3 gives 9 so we have the square of 2 over 3 as 4 over 9 then we go to d square of one whole number one over five square of one whole number one over five means one whole number one over five raised to the power of two we then express this as a proper fraction which is going to give us six over five times six over five so we multiply the numerators six times six gives 36 and 5 times 5 gives 25 we express these as mixed fractions so we have it as one whole number 11 over 25 so 25 goes into 36 once remember 11 then over 25 that is the solution of problem 1d which brings to the end of solution of problem one we go to problem two in problem two we have to find a square root of four over nine b square root of two whole number one over four c square root of 0 0.25 and d square root of 1.21 so starting from a square root of four over nine means square root of four over square root of nine and square root of 4 is 2 and square root of 9 is 3 so our answer is 2 over 3 so we go to be part of the problem here we are going to express this as improper fraction expressing this as improper fraction we have it as square root of 9 over 4 
4 times 2 gives 8 plus 1 gives 9 over 4. Then we go ahead to find square root of 9 over square root of 4, which gives 3 over 2. And expressing it as mixed fraction, we have it as one whole number, 1 over 2, which gives solution of problem 2b. We go to C, square root of 0 0.25. Um, the best way to do this is to change this to fraction. So we have it as square root of 25 over 100. 25 over 100, two decimal places. So we have it as 25 over 100, which gives square root of 25 over square root of 100. Square root of 25 is 5 over square root of 100, which is 10. And 5 over 10 is 0 0.5. So we go to D part of the problem. In the same way, square root of 1.21 will be written as square root of 121 over 100, which gives square root of 121 over square root of 100. Square root of 121 is 11 over 10, which is the square root of 100. Expressing this as decimal, since we have 10 here, which means 11 will be expressed as one decimal number. So we have it as 1.1, which gives the solution of problem 2D. And that is the end of solution to problem 2. Now we go to problem 3. In problem 3, but to find the square roots of these fractions, um, we have four problems there, A, B, C, D. So we start with uh, A, square root of 16 over 81 will be square root of 16 over square root of 81. Square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 81 is 9. I have my answer there as 4 over 9. We go to B, square root of 27 over 48. Uh, 27 is not a perfect square, 48 is not a perfect square. But if we look at the fraction, it is not in its simplest form. So we can divide by 3. This is divisible by 3. So 27 divided by 3 gives 9. And uh, 48 divided by 3 gives uh, 16. Yeah, so I have it as 9 over 16. So that square root of 9 over 16 will be square root of 9 over square root of 16. Square root of 9 is 3 and square root of 16 is 4. So the square root of 27 over 48 is 3 over 4. Then we go to C part of the problem. For C, we have to find the square root of 3 whole number 1 over 16. So what we do here is to change this to improper fraction. Changing it to improper fraction, 16 times 3 gives 48 plus 1, 49. So we have it at 49 over 16. So that their square root will be square root of 49 over square root of 16. Square root of 49 is 7 and square root of 16 is 4. I have 7 over 4 as the square root of 3 whole number 1 over 16, but we shall express it as mixed fraction so that we now have it as 1 whole number 3 over 4. So this has been expressed as mixed fractions. So we go to the part of problem 3. Square root of 1 whole number 33 over 75 um changing it to improper fraction 75 times 1 gives 75 plus 33 will give us 108 over 75. Um, here this is not in their simplest form as 3 can divide 108 also 75 so that will now give us a uh, 36 over 25 108 divided by 3 gives 36 
75 divided by 3 gives 25. So to find the square root now we have square root of 36 over square root of 25. Square root of 36 is 6 over 5 which will be expressed as mixed fractions to give us one whole number 1 over 5. That is the end of solution of problem 3D. This is the end of this uh, lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Until we come your way again, goodbye.